Hi, I'm Leslie Reichert, the cleaning coach, and welcome back to 10 simple steps on how to create a safe, green, clean home for your family. Yesterday, I showed you how to dry mop and get rid of the dust on your hardwood floors in your dining room or any other place you have hardwood floors. Today, I told you I was going to introduce you to my great grandmother's laundry soap. This recipe is actually in my book, and you can see it on page 63, along with a picture of my great grandmother there. So it's really four simple ingredients, and it's amazing how this soap works. It's a soap, not a detergent. One of the things that happens with laundry detergents is that detergent actually stays in your clothes, and it actually attracts dirt. One of the things that people tell me is that they, after a while of using detergents, their skin actually gets irritated. So there's a lot of people that are having different skin rashes from laundry detergents. If you want to try and make a difference, let's go back to an old-fashioned soap, and I'm going to show you how to do it. What you're going to start off with is soap flakes. This, actually, you can make yourself, if you want to, with, by taking an ivory soap bar, drying it out, and grating it. I don't have time for that. So I'm using soap flakes, and these are imported from London. Soap flakes are kind of dried, very gentle, and they're vegetable-based soap. So we're going to put two cups of the soap flakes in this recipe. There's one. And let's get the second one in there. There we go. So that's the soap flakes. The second ingredient we're going to use is baking soda. And we're going to put one cup of baking soda, and it's actually going to do absorbing of odors. Just like it does in your refrigerator, it's going to do this in your laundry. So baking soda is a great thing to have around, and it's great for cleaning and laundry. So there you go, a cup of baking soda. The third ingredient is washing soda. And washing soda is still around today. I got this at my local grocery store. So it's actually going to boost a lot of the power and do a lot of cleaning and cutting of the grease in your clothing. There we go. And the fourth ingredient is borax. I don't know if you remember this box. Maybe you remember this little one over here in your great grandmother or your grandmother's laundry room. They used it all the time. It was great for cleaning whites and it boosted the power of any other laundry soap they were using. So we're going to put a, a cup of borax in there. And you can tell I'm no Rachel Ray because I'm not a good cook, and, but the measurements don't have to be perfect. So you take this mixture and you just combine them all together. And you've made enough now that this will probably do up to 80 loads of laundry because you're not going to use a lot of it. If you mix that up really well so that you get the soap flakes dispersed through all the other ingredients. So you can kind of tell it gets granular. And if you want to, you can actually add an uh, essential oil to it to give it a scent. A lot of people, especially my children, miss the smell of a laundry soap. You have to be very careful with fragrances. A lot of them have synthetics in them. So I go back to an essential oil to give my laundry soap a different scent. So there you go. I got that in my little container. Now, this is how much you're going to use. One tablespoon if you have a front-loading washer. It's not very much. If you have a top-loading washer, you're going to use about a quarter of a cup. So it's going to last you a long, long time. You don't want to mix this up. That's okay. I can also recommend there's some great green laundry soaps that are out there. Another favorite of mine is Charlie's Soap. Again, you're only using a scoop every time you use the laundry and it's going to rinse totally out of your clothes and keep everything nice, clean, and green. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. Mix it up, give it a try. Your clothes are going to be fresh, clean, and really comfortable on you as well. Tomorrow we're going to show you how to make a light dusting spray so that you can go over your furniture without using any toxic chemicals to clean with. So thanks so much for joining me and happy cleaning.